Hey guys, up next we have suitcase squats and carries. Every minute on the minute for 10, 15, or 20. How I like to use this is actually for a recovery workout and I just kind of constantly move. I move at a really slow pace to basically not even have recovery but low intensity. So here we go. Suitcase squats, we have five, okay? So what we do, I'm gonna keep the kettlebell on the side. I'm gonna go into my squat. I'm gonna to touch the kettlebell, grab it, stand up. So I'm unilaterally loading one side, two, three, four, one more, five. I'm gonna walk forward and back, bracing, keeping that shoulder in a good spot, okay? Forward and back. If you're in a gym, you can take a lap. The key is you're not having to go about. This will stabilize just by keeping it from collapsing. Okay, we're gonna switch hands. Same thing, get a little closer for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna drop down. Notice my knees are still apart. Squatting still in a good fashion. Touching to the ground. I like to keep this arm nice and tense. Create more of an irradiation effect, as the smart science people say. One more, five. Lock in, so I don't wanna be here. I'm pushing through on my walk. Rib and core tight, same thing. One, two, three, four, five step. One, two, three, four, five. With a proud chest as we walk the entire time. Okay, that's suitcase squats and carries.